The problem is not proving that UFOs exist. It's when you begin to expose the energy and propulsion systems behind how they're getting here. What scientists need to do is they need to look at the hardcore evidence, decide that, oh my gosh, ETs are real, and then get over that. Then you can start extrapolating. These sciences have been around for decades. They have been ruthlessly kept secret because of the power of a centralized petrodollar oil gas coal system. And right now, these misanthropic sociopaths are running the planet into the ground. Governments have not gone far enough, so we've decided that as people to form our own movement. All right, game on, one. What we are attempting to achieve is a device which defeats the perpendicular force of gravity. We have so many modes of converting quantum vacuum energy or zero point energy. This possible EVE was found in the Atacama Desert. We have the best scientists that are going to be doing the DNA testing. We have 1,150 teams of CE5 ambassadors. I can attest to the fact that real phenomenon happens here. And this is probably the most important thing going on in this planet today, and yet nobody talks about it. If we come together, we can make this happen in a matter of months, not decades. For this is the destiny of humanity. The primary purpose is to train people to understand these other civilizations. A hundred yards from the left wing was this hundred foot disc. I don't give a goddamn what anybody else says about it. I saw that. But who do you tell without them looking at you like this? You ain't wrapped too tight. And I was a part of a United States Air Force cover up for 18 years. The problem is not proving that UFOs exist. It's when you begin to expose the energy and propulsion systems behind how they're getting here. And this is the most important thing going on in this planet today, and yet nobody talks about it. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The adversary is closer to home. It's the Pentagon bureaucracy. You know, hundreds of billions of dollars I think the public would be a little annoyed. People are afraid of looking at technology. Paul Brown stuff got basically suppressed for a year. He got murdered. We briefed them for 10 hours. They ran scared. And here we sit in 2012 with the world still burning oil and gas and coal when we have had all the information we need to have had a completely new civilization. What we are attempting to achieve is a device which defeats the perpendicular force of gravity. When we look at our data, we lost 7% of waste. And you're beginning to see countries all over the world begin to come forward. This possible EVE was found in the Atacama Desert. We took material from inside the cranium of this little being. There is something occurring, and were it any other scientific phenomenon, the scientific community would be all over it. There have been over 5,000 patents that have been sequestered. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means. What we have to do is pave the way for these leaders. Because if the people will lead, the leaders will follow. And it isn't about overthrowing the Pentagon, it's about leaving it behind. This is the destiny of humanity.